What is going on guys? Welcome back to another one today. We're doing the one. I know you guys b-ball fans you love her so much. <laughs> I see through the comments. <laughs> yeah, we're doing I don't understand what they want. When I talk, you get triggered and you give me hate comments. When I don't talk, it's again triggers you and I again <laughs> There's yeah. no right. I guess. Okay, it's, it's, I love you too. It's about opinion, it's about opinion at the end of the day. As far as we can respect each other's opinions. So uh, let's let's go on. This is no means no end of the free, home of the brave. We got some dumb ass motherfuckers floating around this country. <laughs> dumb ass motherfuckers. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> no means no, that's another one. No means no. It's like no it doesn't. Alright? <laughs> No means no. No, that means no. All right, but no, stop it. We're not <laughs> it's something confusing. Yeah. And it's not nice because of this complicated issue. I mean, they don't understand whether it is this way or no. No way. Yeah. You're being so bad. Stop it. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's not a fucking no. <laughs> afraid you're gonna judge me so I'm just gonna make it look like it was your idea so you don't figure out that I've already performed this act with 40 other fucking people <laughs> but then then you go to court and you get a bad read and there's some guy reading it oh, your honor she said no stop it what are you doing you're being so bad <laughs> yeah and you just sit me like she didn't fucking say it like that she didn't say it like that <laughs> <laughs> So now everybody's just like scared shitless, you know? Because I guess if women ran the world, there'd be no war. Evidently, there'd be no due process either. Yeah. So just sit there going, ah, ah, ah. I mean, young men are actually scared of touching women now. No, it's fucking nuts. Young People are men. so scared. Young men are scared of touching women now. Yeah, right. because idiot women are using it to their own convenience. Yes, when they there want... is nothing wrong. It's not common here in the Middle East and area, but in the West, it's, it happens a lot. Now you now have you have the male feminist. Like where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> Just out of nowhere, last couple of years. I'm a male feminist. Uh, I've always championed women. No, you haven't. I'm a male yeah. feminist too. This shit. What? Yeah, I'm a male what? feminist. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Think about it, think about it. I act, I believe in women having equality. It's just that I'm against women that try to demonize Yeah, of course. Men. Wait, we know each other's opinions. Yeah. So we understand each other. Yeah, we understand. But they don't understand. Yeah, 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 true. So they will keep <laughs> coming <swearing> at me. <laughs> it came out and you're fucking scared. You did something. You grabbed some fucking titties. What the fuck did you do that you have to overcorrect that fucking heart? What kind of a man? <laughs> Who still has his balls is walking around saying that he's a male feminist. <laughs> <laughs> I totally see the way you see the fucking world. Nice. I shouldn't have said anything. You know. I didn't know he was gonna no, come for me like right. that. Of course I'm not gonna cut it. <laughs> of course I'm not gonna cut it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's so good. It's it's impossible as a man who was raised right. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking raised right. <laughs> No, you feel how I feel. Oh. You can't do it. You're a man. Look, you, you, you can agree with it. You can empathize, sympathy. You can do all of that shit. But you can't be it any more than I can stand here and just be like, I'm a Black Panther. <laughs> and then I walk out the door, a blue-eyed white dude, and I get to live that fucking life, right? Wait, I mean, is it, is, it, is it the same as white people fighting for black people's rights? It's actually not the same thing. Hmm. In feminism's real meaning, mm -hmm. not today's meaning, mm -hmm. it defends the equal rights of women and men. Hmm. Yeah, that's so, the original meaning of feminism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With blacks, white people already have their own rights. And white privilege already. Yes, yeah. the black ones are who are humiliated or other things, mm -hmm. you know. They're defending blacks' rights mm -hmm. to give them better life or something. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. So let me know if you guys agree. I don't know. I don't know, ladies. I don't buy it. Maybe, maybe you do, I don't. Anytime I hear a guy say I'm a male feminist, I always just think that is the most pathetic, limp dick way ever. Why is it coming for me in this video? Right? Like that's oh my god! That is literally the fucking game you had 
Nice. When you were on a first date when you were 16, nice. you were all nervous and your whole game plan was just agree with her, maybe she'll touch it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your favorite bands? I like whatever you like. <laughs> touch it now, did I do it right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a seam. That's a seam. Yeah, yeah, it's a weird time. That's right a seam. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it means I'm a simp. Oh, fuck it, I'll be a simp. If, if huh? yeah, if if being no, simp. like I know you are not a simp. Yeah, but if he's saying the male feminist is a simp, then uh, then it's different. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm fucking you know married now. I don't gotta fucking deal with any of that shit. You know, it's younger guys, I don't know how do you deal with it. Like you know, it was really fucked up. But I'm sure some boys using it to to get girls. Yeah, yeah. true, true, true. And all of this now is is what about women who like it rough? Right? <laughs> That doesn't happen here in the jolly old England, right? <laughs> Not at all. Everybody gets all dead silent. Big fucking elephant in the fucking room, right? Yeah. How the fuck do you... What's that? Ask for consent. Ask for consent? Okay. Doesn't that take the move? Well, Jesus, that kind of took it in a weird way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can understand for... I don't know. Sometimes people do complicated things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah sorry. It's just yes, difficult. <laughs> Dude, whatever the fuck I was saying, however you heard it, that's not what the fuck I'm saying, all right? I love this guy, man. You know, I really listened to this Me Too movement. I think I'm, for the first time in my life, I'm gonna ask for consent. <laughs> I'm really gonna do it this time. I've been feeling... This is why you can't judge comedians. Do you understand this? Do you understand what the fuck I was saying and how this fucking jackass just heard it? <laughs> <laughs> the second... That's true, though. Like, look at what he's saying, look I mean, at how she's into it. I was just saying, can you say something like this in Bilber's show? Yeah, just, he will come for you, you should know. The second it comes out of my mouth, it's not what I said anymore. It goes into your fucking ear hole and gets cut with your whole fucking childhood. <laughs> oh, this is what I mean. <laughs> what a guy, man. What a guy. Sir, sure, if I could get along with my point, if you wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Wait, that's what? what? Oh, okay. It's oh, a lot of music. Oh my god. Women who like it rough, like, how, that's gotta be. Oh. No, like, fucking women who like it rough, like, how, that's gotta be so fucking weird. <laughs> I remember when I was a single man a long time ago, a lot of hair ago, right? <laughs> that wasn't a good look, but I was single. I was out there taking some at bats. I remember that shit. You meet a woman, and when it started going down that road, like you knew you were gonna hook up, what you try to do, you try to get a jump on it, right? You try to figure out what they liked in the bedroom, because you wanted to satisfy them, because there's nothing worse than if you don't satisfy them, and you know they're gonna tell all their friends, and then you gotta fucking move, and now there's social media, and you got a fucking nickname. It's, it's a nightmare. So you, you just try to, you know, you try to do, you know, a little fucking intelligence, you know? You'd be sitting there hanging out, just being oh, like, oh, girls do this so, so much. much. I mean, even my friends, I don't want to listen to your, to your sexual experience, sexual right? life. Because <laughs> when I come across with that guy, I can't look at his face. I don't want to know them. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, uh, you know, what are you, uh, what are you into? What do you, uh, what do you like to do, right? One night I asked this woman that, she set her drink down, she looked me right in the eye, she's like, I like to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there actually some, there's some women that like this. Actually, most women like it. They want the person to be dominant. Most and women. I knew what she meant. I was like, all right, this is going to be one of these. Okay, here we go. <laughs> to, we're going to have to go hard on this one, right? We had a great fucking time. Now, I don't know how I would hit today. I would just be like, all right, I know what you want to do, but, like, you're going to have to do it. You understand? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just going to stand here, and then you just back into me however hard you want. You control how hard you're backing into me. Then I'm gonna lay my hand on your shoulder. You can put your ponytail in it. I will slowly close my hand around it. And if at any point you, you want you want to yank Enough it, it like that, that's on you. My other hand will be just to the right of your right ass cheek. If you want to do one of those, <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm just gonna stand here like a giant fuck stick. And you, just, you just have at it. You just have at it. Oh. They don't want that though. Yeah. You know what's hilarious about sexual assault? <laughs> you know 
what's hilarious about it is how women are acting like that is a uniquely female experience. <laughs> you know what's funny? I actually, to the letter of the fucking law, within the last two and a half years, got sexually assaulted in this business by a woman. Wow. Yeah. And this is my story! <laughs> <laughs> truth and be brave tonight and share this with you but if he has actually you know what it's true though some people actually go through it but they cannot say it because they're men some people are as i told you before some people are just using it like trying to dramatize some things but okay it's funny but that's why i'm triggered in some parts and they they become angry at me but i don't understand why because there are also people, women, who really experience such a thing. That's yeah, why, of course, of since course. Since I know these things, I can't laugh at it. Oh, yeah, I get, That's I get, why. I get. I think it's more like if you, if there's a sickness that hits home, it's hard to laugh at yeah. jokes about that. I, I understand what you're saying, but, uh, yeah, it's comedy. Because of the toxic know? ones, uh, I have to be... <laughs> Objective and Story. laugh. I was doing stand up, I was doing a private gig. All right, private gigs are the fucking worst. You do a public gig, anybody can show up, it broadens what you can talk about, right? Yeah. You do a private gig, it's like everybody grew up on the same fucking streets. All your jokes gotta go right down fucking Main Street or you're bombing. So all you do is listen to the first comic to hear what's working and what isn't. You just listen to him as he's up there struggling, going, okay, they like bread. Talk about bread. Get all the bread you can. Don't make fun of the troops. Stay away from the troops, right? <laughs> So that's what we're doing, right? And uh, the host gets him going, and then he brings up the first act. Okay, she goes on stage. She's not really a comedian, more of a personality. She does her bullshit or whatever. And I'm standing there, looking at my jokes, figuring out what I'm doing. She wraps it up. He goes on stage. She goes to get off. I'm thinking, okay, I'm next. I'm looking at my stuff. And she just walks right by me and just fucking, poo, just flicked me right in the head of my dick and kept walking. <laughs> like it was nothing. Just fucking pow. I just kept... I couldn't fucking believe it. I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, is this a friend of yours? Was she flirting with you? Was this a joke? None of the above. You know what it was? I swear to God, it was like... What if it was a man doing this to a woman? Exactly. Know your fucking boundaries. Yeah, know your place. The bully um... vibe. Like she was trying to get in my head. Like, there you go, you little red dick. Poof, follow that. <laughs> and she just kept walking. Dude, my first thought as I saw her walking away, I just wanted to punch her in the back of the head as hard as humanly possible. Like, literally make her leave her <laughs> shoes. <you know? laughs> but the other side of my brain's like, oh, no, dude, you can't do that. You can't do that. It's a woman. Exactly. And you just spitball. Well, fucking put her in the ass then. Put her in the ass. Can't hit her. <laughs> can't hit her. It's a woman. Oh, fucking tell somebody. Tell somebody. Okay. And all I'm thinking is like, dude, Good I'm much. a guy. You can't fucking tell anybody. Nobody gives a shit what happens to a guy. I'm going to walk up to another man and be like, <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to another man and be like, excuse me, sir, but she just flicked me in my pee pee and I didn't like that one bit. No, sir, I didn't like that at all. No, I didn't. Who, who can you tell? Oh, that's all. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this is probably the first time you enjoyed everything to the end, I guess. Yes, I did. No means no, but no, no doesn't. <laughs> but no doesn't mean no. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and to see you next time. Peace. <laughs>